Welcome to Riker Rides. My name is Beth. Thank you for joining me. If you clicked on this video, it means you are interested in saddlebags for your Riker. Can it be done? So I have been on a quest to find something sporty, something cool, and more importantly, something equal on both sides. So I've never been a huge fan of the shad bag. It always looked a little lopsided that you kind of have the, the one bag here, but nothing on the A-frame. So I was looking around for something and I came across this awesome item at Daytona Bike Week. So unfortunately, it was a little tiny vendor. I have no idea who it was. And um, they sold tons of these things, but it, it was just a local vendor. So I don't have a website for the saddlebags that I have on my bike. Well, I'm just showing you that it can be done. So I got these saddlebags. They work awesome. So let me tell you the pluses and the minuses of how they work. So the only minus that I see with these, it's a little more challenging to get on your bike. So for example, you need to kind of step over this saddlebag and kind of get in here. So and if you're sitting at a, at a stoplight, these will cut into your knees a little bit. But when you're riding and you've got your feet on the pegs or your, you know, the brake, I don't feel it at all. Now, again, I'm 5'3", maybe if you're 6'4", it fits a little differently for you. But for me, they fit perfectly. That's the plus, that's the, that's the minus is that you, it, it is a little awkward getting on and off your bike. Like so. They go on very easily and they come off very easily. So I've taken these on overnight trips between these two bags and here. I could be gone for a week and I've got everything that I need in here. So it's really cool. And it has little side pockets as well. And then when I go into a hotel, all I do is I just pop this off. And then I, then I actually throw it over my shoulder and I walk in like this and I'm good to go. So let me show you how this bag in particular um, and it just has a lot of, um, a lot of, has a lot of room in there, has clips on here. Um, but I'm not going to bother showing you too many details of this bag because I know you can't get this exact bag. But, so a lot of people will ask, um, I don't, I don't put it underneath my seats. It goes right on top of it and I sit right on it. I do not notice it at all when I'm riding. I can't tell that I'm sitting on it. It is very, very comfortable. It's as if it's not even there. Second question I know I'm gonna get asked is, won't it get hot, hot sitting so close to the engine? No, these bags are made specifically for that. I've, I've been on many rides with this and I've never had any kind of burns or melting or smelling of anything burning from these bags. And um, they are, you can buy ones that are waterproof. So what I'm gonna do for you guys, I'm gonna go through Amazon and I'm gonna find a few different ones that I think are really good quality. And I'm gonna put my recommendations on, on here for you. So check down below in the description section and I'll, I'll kind of do the research for you guys. And you know, but obviously do your own research, check it out. If you buy on Amazon, the good thing is if you put it on your bike and it doesn't work and it doesn't quite fit, you can easily return it and get something different. So I love how it looks. I love the sportiness of it. I love the, um, the stability of it in my mind. I, I like symmetry. Symmetry is the word I'm looking for. I like the symmetry of it, um, that it kind of makes me feel even. And overall, it's great. And I like how easily it comes on and off. I, day to day, I don't want all this extra baggage, just for long trips. So check it out and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day and be safe, everybody.